Good afternoon to the Noon Zoom Simple Guided Meditation, courtesy of Hancock College Student Wellness Center. I'm John Hupp, and I am your simple guide for a simple guided meditation. Let's spend 25 minutes together, relaxing and concentrating. We've practiced starting with three bells. First bell helps us set our intent to sit for a sitting practice. We can get into a comfortable position. Second bell helps us set our intent to release an emotional attachment that is having the potential of interfering. Just release it for now. Set it aside. Let it go. The third bell. Let's uh, set our intent to quiet the mind so that body, emotions, and thoughts can all benefit from the relaxation and quietude of the meditation practice. Now, 50% of the practice is meditation consisting of relaxation. 50% of the practice is meditation consisting of concentration. Now, without busying yourself too much with which one comes first, Let's realize that sometimes relaxation can lead to sleepiness or drowsiness. Therefore, it might be easier to start with concentration, which leads to relaxation. Let us concentrate inwardly by closing the eyes to outward stimulation. When we talk of concentration, We refer to concentrating the consciousness rather than concentrating the thinking process. Using the consciousness for concentration relieves us of a whole bunch of mental effort. An easy way to approach concentration of the consciousness is to realize that where we place our attention, that's where we invest our consciousness. Let's spend a moment looking for our attention. And with the eyes gently closed, we can realize just how much visual distraction there is in the world around us. And because the eyes are closed, we have the blank screen in front of a potential position for our point of view. Let's really look at that blank screen for a minute. Really engage with what we can see through the closed lids or on the closed lids. Now this process of concentrating the attention on what's going on behind the closed lids might be better described as noticing rather than investigating. And certainly better to describe it as observing rather than figuring it out. Now 
if there are colors or patterns, points of light. or any other phenomenon, that's okay. Just notice that it's there. Without comparing it, without judgmentalism about it, without criticizing it. Excellent. Now let's move the awareness of our attention to the other senses for a moment. Noticing that the ears are hearing whatever there is to hear and accepting that that is the ambient sound of the environment at this time and in this place. And that's okay. Let's move the awareness of the attention to the taste buds of the tongue. There probably isn't a whole lot for them to do right now, and that's okay. Let's move the awareness of the attention to the olfactory sensors of the nose. If there's something to smell, that's fine. And if there's not, that's fine too. That leaves us now moving the attention and awareness to sensations. What are the sensory sensors sensing? What sensations are available to feel? It's very possible, having moved the attention in the orderly fashion that we have moved it, that we can sense relaxation progressing, deepening, softening, quieting. Certainly there's the gentle sensation of pressure where the feet contact the floor or the legs and bottom contact the supporting surface. Gentle pressure against the back, the hands and perhaps the arms lying on top of whatever they're resting on. This is what the body's doing right now, and that's enough. This is what the body is sensing right now, and that's okay. Without being critical, without judgmentalism,
Simply notice whether there is perhaps something you can do for the body to make it more relaxed. It is also possible that you're so relaxed already from concentrating your consciousness that the body is too relaxed to even bother with moving. And that's okay too. Perhaps now you can direct the attention and the awareness to the breath. Perhaps there is a soft and subtle sensation of the breath arriving and departing from the body. Oh, this might be something new using the awareness and the attention to notice let's see if we can notice the heartbeat Whether it's a gentle rhythm, a soft pulse, a quiet sound, or an after effect, such as nodding or bodying. See how nice it is to have evoked relaxation through concentration of the consciousness. This is a big step forward in your ability to practice meditation. Whether you continue to follow the breath, or the gentle heartbeat, or just immerse yourself in the space between thoughts.
state of mind of meditation is an alert watchfulness without anticipating, just being present. Perhaps there's a subtle pleasure to that presence. The breath arrives and departs and is there if we need to work on the concentration. The heartbeat is there. And its rhythm is soothing. The consciousness is engaged in calm abiding. It is content to be present in its awareness without needing anything to be different. Let's invite the quietude of the heart to permeate the rest of the organism. Let's sound the letter O three times, letting the vibration resonate inside and out with the quietude, the equanimity, the balance we're experiencing, breathing ever so gently, vocalizing softly. so softly. Vocalizing.
Feeling the resonance and the sympathetic vibrations throughout your being. Breathing gently for one more sounding. Vocalizing. Gentle, soft, warm and glowing from the inside out, from the heart out to all the other parts and places. Now get a good sense of how good this feels. so that your awareness can guide in a direct way the easy entry into this or deeper level when you start your next practice. Won't that be lovely? It has been lovely to share this time with you in such a nice space of equilibrium. Balance and peace. Let's carry this peace with us now into daily life as we prepare to end the practice with three bells. What you have earned and achieved in this practice is yours to keep. No one and no circumstance could take it from you. Hang on to it here in the heart. What a beautiful place. First bell begins to orient the consciousness toward bringing all you have achieved into balance in life. Second bell prepares us to inhabit a body that also happens to have emotions and the ability to think. And the third bell reminds us that we are not just the body. We are not just the emotions. We are not just the thoughts. We are an awareness. Let that conscious awareness now begin to Infuse the body with life forces. You can gently wiggle the fingers and toes. Take a gentle breath, an easy stretch. The eyes will open when you're ready for them to open. And we can go about our day with a centered, balanced calm that you earned. Let's end the recording. Thank you for your efforts.